Hey, what's up guys? Uh, if you are looking at starting a lawn care business or if this is your first year in business, I want to share with you something that I wish that I knew whenever I first started my lawn care business. It's the one thing that I, that I wish I had done differently. So if you're just starting a business, stay tuned. I think you're really gonna enjoy this. Okay, now though we've made a lot of good decisions here at Florida Turf Pros, one of the things that I wish I had done differently in the beginning was just embraced being small. Like truly been comfortable and, and okay with being small and not being the biggest, baddest company around, okay? Whenever I first got going, man, like I had this insecurity that like we did not have a big market share, that we didn't have employees, that we did not have um, all this new nice fancy equipment. And my mindset was like, you know, who am I, this little peon, to, to, to try and come and break into our market against all these competitors? You know, I'm just another guy pulling a truck and a trailer. That was my mindset, but I quickly learned something, um, and, I, and I wish I had just learned it even faster, but it's this. The clients that you are going to get in the beginning, though you may see your small uh, operation as, as a weakness, and, and you might feel insecure about it, your clients that you're gonna get in the beginning, nearly every one of them, that is a strength for you, okay? Meaning that what a client wants is they want you to be accessible to them. They want to be able to call and know that they can get a hold of somebody. They want a relationship with somebody that's honest. And more than anything, they want somebody that is authentic authentic. I remember when I used to send out estimates, I used to sit, you know, use the word we a lot. Like there was no we. Like we as in the company, no, we was me. And and and, and it was I. I should have been using the word I. I will show up at your property and do this. And and I and I used the word we a lot just in in place of my company whenever I I should have just been saying I, you know? I'm going to show up at your property on Tuesdays. I'm going to cut your grass with a professional mower. I like it's me. You are dealing with me right now, okay? And if I had just embraced that earlier, it would have just saved me a lot of stress because once I got into it and started started figuring it out, frankly, people just don't care. <laughs> they just don't care that you're not a huge operation. And and again, while it may be an insecurity for you in the beginning, um, you will see that it really can play into a major strength if you are accessible to your to your new clients, uh, if you are punctual, if you are honest, and if you are just authentic. If you don't know something, just tell them. Get them in contact with the right person. But I guess my point in this video is that you don't have to be something you're not. You know, just be you. You know, do the absolute best you can. And I know it sounds cliche, but if you will just do that, do the best that you can and be authentic you will succeed in this industry. I'm telling you, where people mess up in this industry is when they don't do what they say they're gonna do and they're not organized. That's really what it comes down to. If you can just stay organized, stay consistent and be authentic, you are really in a great industry and you're going to succeed. Guys, I'm praying for every one of you that are struggling right now with the COVID stuff. Just know I'm in your corner and I'm going to bat for you. Hang in there, it's gonna get better. Good luck, God bless, and I'll be in touch.